Good afternoon. My name is Carson Hetty. I'm the Cloud Transformation Specialist for Microsoft in Missouri. And uh, appreciate your attendance for today's session. Uh, we will be talking about mobile device management in the modern workplace. Uh, you may today be investing in some of these tools or maybe looking at some of these tools. Um, but our team at Covenant Technology Partners is going to be outlining some of the tools that are available and uh, how they may best be utilized in your existing environment. So uh, the session today is recorded. Uh, if you'd like to get a copy of the session, please feel free to reach out to either your account manager or to me directly, and we'll be happy to share that with you. Um, and I will, without further ado, turn it over to Michael Underwood at Covenant Technology Partners. Michael, take it away. Good afternoon, everybody. As Carson mentioned, we're with Covenant Technology Partners. Uh, we were established in 2004. We've got about 40 skilled professionals. We like to uh, deploy everything successfully. We have a very high client satisfaction. Uh, and we're the number one SharePoint team in St. Louis. And as you can see from the slide here, we've got a wide variety of skills and areas we specialize in. Let's take a look at the uh, mobility suite that Microsoft offers. There are a couple of trends that have been changing the modern workplace. The place where people actually get their work done is no longer exclusively a traditional office or workplace. People are working from home, cafes, customer sites, and on the road. Even when they're in the office, people don't expect to be sitting at their desks in order to be productive. Just look at the story told by some of these statistics. 52% of information workers across 17 countries report using three or more devices for work. 90% of enterprises will have two or more mobile operating systems to support as of 2017. More than 80% of employees admit to using non-approved software as a service applications in their jobs. What's behind this shift in workplace practices? There are a couple of trends that have taken hold. First is a proliferation of consumer devices. Users have a lot more devices to choose from. Devices have become an object of personal preference, and users of these devices feel a strong affinity with these devices that they want to use. Then there's the cloud. People are always connected, and there's an app for just about everything. If a user can't find a way of doing what they want with the tools IT gives them, it's very easy and cheap to find their own solutions to get the job done. Finally, there's a natural shift as the younger generation that has grown up in this always connected world enters the workforce. The younger generation are dependent upon social collaboration and are bringing these connected collaboration skills to the workplace and are expecting an infrastructure that will support them in how they work. Whatever the underlying drivers, the shift has created tension between what users need and what IT is responsible for. Here are the options that Microsoft provides for mobile device management. We have Exchange Active Sync that provides basic management such as inventory, factory reset, and basic device configuration settings management. Then we have mobile device management for Office 365. This builds upon the Exchange Active Sync by providing more robust compliance reporting and allows management via groups and secures access to Office 365 services until the devices are correctly enrolled. I'm sorry, Michael. Quick, this is Olia. Are you uh, sharing your screen and the presentation with everyone? I thought I was. Uh, no, we're not able to see it. Oh, oh really? I can see I can it. Oh, yeah, I can I'm see sorry. It. I'm not seeing it from my end. Apologies. I can see it. Anybody not be able to see it? Is that Olia? I can't see it. I don't know if you. I don't know if you hear me or not. This is Craig. I can't see it. Um, I can see it. I think. Uh, I think most of the people can see it. Craig, I'll make sure that you. Uh, you get a copy of the presentation after the event. My apologies. Okay. Well, I'll continue then. And then we have mobile device management for Office 365. It builds upon Exchange Active Sync by providing more robust compliance reporting and allows management via groups and secures access to Office 365 until the devices are currently correctly enrolled. We have Intune. Intune 
It adds additional options for self-service device enrollment, robust device configuration settings, automatic app deployment to Windows, Android, and iOS, and it also provides the ability to lock down Intune enabled applications to protect company data. And finally, we can take Intune and integrate it with System Center Configuration Manager. This option builds upon the services provided by Intune by providing support for group policies, OS deployment and imaging, software management, and also supports a broader range of operating systems. Microsoft Intune is part of the Microsoft Enterprise Mobility Suite, which is the only enterprise mobility solution designed to help manage and protect users, devices, applications, and data. We will primarily be focused on Microsoft Intune in this presentation. Uh, it integrates with Azure Active Directory Premium to easily manage identities across on-premise and the cloud. It provides single sign-on and self-service for corporate resources. Intune uh, provides um, helps manage and protect corporate app, apps and data on almost any device with Microsoft device management and mobile application management. And finally, it integrates with Azure Rights Management, which provides encryption, identity and authentication policies to secure corporate files and email across phones, tablets, and PCs. Microsoft's people-centric IT vision helps organizations enable and embrace the consumerization of IT, addressing three constant business challenges. It enables end users to be as productive as possible by allowing users to work on the devices of their choice and provides consistent access to corporate resources from those devices. It helps IT to protect your data by protecting corporate information and managing risk. It unifies your environment by delivering comprehensive application and device management from your existing on-premises infrastructure by leveraging uh, technologies such as System Center Configuration Manager, Windows Server, Active Directory, as well as cloud-based services including Microsoft Intune and Microsoft Azure. Intune enables organizations to manage devices through the entire four stages of the device lifecycle. The device lifecycle steps are device enrollment, which can be self-service enrollment, or bulk enrollment in devices in Intune, provisioning of applications and policies to lock down devices, management of the applications to secure data and pushing policies to those device applications to secure the data, and finally, retirement of the device when an employee leaves the company or any unfortunate risk when uh, event when a uh, device is lost or stolen. You can issue a wipe, wipe to the devices to completely wipe your data from the device. There are several device types that, that need to be demand, managed. Each brings a unique set of challenges. You have your traditional PC management. These are typically company-owned devices, and they tend to be fully managed by your IT department. Then you have your BYOD, or bring your own device. These are typically personal devices, and the goal on these devices is that you want to mitigate corporate data from being lost from the devices. You also have choose your own device, which require light management. They are typically uh, company-owned devices such as iPads, MacBooks, Android devices. You want light management on these devices. And again, the, the, the ultimate goal here is to uh, protect your corporate data from loss and mitigate the risk of that data being stolen or, or transmitted off, your, off, off to other people. Then we've got regulated devices, and these devices typically aren't connected to the internet. They may be used for, um, in regulated situations, hospitals, manufacturing plants. And also we've got your internet of things devices. These are embedded devices that support mobile device management, but they're not always connected to the internet. With Intune, you can provide employees with access to corporate applications, data, and resources from anywhere on almost any device while helping keep corporate information secure. With Intune's mobile device management capabilities, you can restrict access to exchange email based on device enrollment and compliance policies. You can deploy certificates, Wi-Fi, VPN, and email profiles automatically once the device is enrolled for management. You can simplify device enrollment in the case of large-scale deployments using Apple Configurator or Intune service accounts. 
You can also provide self-service company portal for users to enroll their own devices and install corporate applications across iOS, Android, Windows, and Windows Phone. Intune also provides mobile application management capabilities. You can protect you can protect corporate data by restricting conditions such as copy, paste, cut and save outside your managed app ecosystem. Existing line of business applications may be protected by using the Intune app wrapping tool. You can also provide secure viewing of content using the managed browser, managed PDF viewer, AV player, and image viewer apps for Intune. Additionally, you can also manage PCs using Intune. Now that we've talked about an extensive number of features in Intune, it's important to discuss how they are actually configured. There's a newly redesigned Azure Intune admin console that provides an intuitive dashboard that is easy to use and accessible from anywhere. It gives your IT the ability to manage policies, applications, and updates in your organization, as well as your reports and alerts to get a better insight of the state of your devices, as well as start working on possible issues. Intune has a very flexible deployment path. On the left, with Intune Standalone, you will be able to manage mobile devices and Windows PCs completely from the cloud using the Intune Web Console. With the hybrid scenario on the right, System Center Configuration Manager is integrated with Microsoft Intune. Here you can manage both domain PCs, Macs, Linux and Unix servers, Windows servers, as well as mobile devices from a single management console, the Configuration Manager console. Both of these scenarios require an Intune subscription for mobile device management and mobile application management capabilities. If you want an easy to deploy and maintain solution to manage your mobile devices, Intune Standalone is the way to go. All the features that we discussed earlier are available in Intune Standalone. There's no existing infrastructure necessary, no existing configuration manager deployment is required. You have simplified policy control within the Azure portal, simplifies web-based administration console in the Azure portal, you have a faster cadence of updates, and you're always up to date because Azure is always pushing these updates down to your devices. And you can see that there's a wide variety of devices supported from Windows RT, Windows PCs, Windows Phone, iOS, Android. By integrating Intune with System Center 22 R2 Configuration Manager, the administrator still gets a single pane of glass view, but now incorporating on-premise PC management with the cloud-based device management. Configuration Manager also enables a deep administra deeper administration capabilities. It builds upon your existing Configuration Manager deployment. You can fully manage your PC deployment with OS deployment, endpoint protection, application delivery, and custom reporting. You have deeper policy control re requirements with your group policies on-premise. It's much more scalable, supporting a larger uh, number of devices, and you've got extensive administration and reporting tools. And you also see that we've got a, a few more options for, for the device operating system, such as Linux. Let's look at how Intune can enable users to be productive on the devices of their choice while on the go. In most cases, users expect a consistent access to corporate resources across a variety of different devices. In this scenario, a user has a PC and a couple of tablets, an iPad and a Windows device. The user has a number of phones spanning iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Some of them were supplied by the company and others she purchased herself. Our user ultimately doesn't care who owns the device, she just wants to access her work resources on whatever device she happens to be using at the time. And since some of the devices are owned, she really doesn't think or care about the management of these devices, but she knows that there's some degree of regulation required. She's happy to accept a few corporate policies on her device as long as they're not too intrusive. She just wants to be able to access the apps and data that she needs. Using Intune, IT can provide a customized company portal app where users can enroll their device into Intune and the IT pro can apply policies and can use identity settings here is already in place to target apps to different users based on their identity and the device type they're using. 
This means that when our user gets a new device, she simply has to enroll it to the company portal, and IT's policies will automatically be applied to that device. Then our user can view all the apps available to her and download them to her device herself. Users can leverage the self-service Intune company portal for a variety of things. The, por the portal provides consistent experience across popular mobile platforms where users can enroll their devices, install corporate applications, and quickly access support information for their co corporate IT department. From this portal, users also have the ability to wipe co corporate data off their enrolled device or devices and retire devices that will no longer be used. A new feature that is now available is customized terms and conditions. This new feature enables an organization to outline specific conditions and policies that apply to both enrolled devices and end users at the enrollment into in the Intune service. Also, it is important to highlight that the company's portal design conforms to the user experience guidelines of each device to retain platform consistency. Another important feature is the ability of Intune to deploy email profiles to enrolled devices. This enables users to quickly get access to their corporate email without any manual configuration. As you see on the screen, Intune deploys the email profile to the device after it is enrolled, which includes a variety of options, such as configuring account settings and mobile res and security restrictions, enable certificate authentication, synchronize email, tasks, contacts, and calendar, and this support extends to iOS, Samsung Knox devices, and Windows Phone. Enabling users to be productive is critical for organizations to stay competitive in the modern workspace, but organizations also need to ensure that their corporate data is protected while employees are on the go. Let's talk a little more in detail about the policies and resource access profiles that are deployed to the device when upon the enrollment to the Intune portal. When it comes to, to deploying policies to devices, Intune can do the following. It can, it can deploy security policies such as encryption, password expiration, and complexity requirements as well as others. It can deploy a wide range of operating system configuration policies, such as start menu customization, lockdown of settings options, and user configuration options. It can provide per setting reports on each device registered in the Intune admin console. It can also apply policies to users, groups, or directly to the devices. Intune can deploy VPN profiles straight to the user's devices, which enables the user to gain access to internal corporate resources without any configuration or manual work. In addition, Intune can also configure automatic VPN connections, which automatically start based on pre-configured settings. For iOS, there is an option for per-app VPN. The VPN tunnel is created for a specific app when it is launched. This on-demand VPN connection is for corporate apps only and routes only the specific apps data to the corporate VPN. And there's support for VPN vendors such as Cisco, Juniper, Checkpoint, Microsoft, Dell SonicWall, and F5. Another useful set of features in Intune is the ability to apply Wi-Fi profiles and certificates to the user devices. With Wi-Fi profiles, Intune can provision Wi-Fi networks so that the device can, can auto-connect to the network when it is in range. When it comes to certificates, Intune can deploy trusted root certificates to the devices as well as SCEP profiles that instruct the devices to get additional certificates from NDES servers within your organization. As part of the management capability in Tune, inventory data is collected from the mobile devices and is available via the Intune admin console. This enables the, device, the administrator to easily track what hardware is in use and to track, excuse me, track potential issues such as when the devices approach storage capacity limits. In addition to hardware inventory, Intune also collects, uh, collects inventory on apps installed on the devices. For employee-owned applications, 
uh, devices. Intune only collects corporate deployed apps, but not personal apps installed by the users. For corporate owned devices, all app inventory is collected. Finally, Intune provides multiple reports that can be used to get better insight into your managed devices and applications. Intune supports conditional access for Office 365, which will require users to enroll their devices with Intune before getting access to email. This slide demonstrates the evaluation process that happens when a user that is not compliant with Intune policies attempts to access Office 365. When a device that has not been enrolled tries to access Office 365, the user is sent an email instructing them to enroll their device. Once the device is flagged as compliant in Intune, uh, access to Office 365 is allowed. Let me pause for a few moments for you to review the flow that Intune uses to ensure conditional access to Office 365 is met. Additionally, Intune supports configurations which require users to complete device enrollment before their devices are allowed access to the on-prem email servers and services. As with the Office 365 scenario, when a device that is not Intune compliant attempts to access the on-premise exchange server, an email is sent to the user detailing the process for device registration. As with Office 365 scenario, once the device is marked compliant, it has full access to the on-prem exchange server. And you see that the flow is, is quite similar to what the Office 365 solution was. In the past, almost all corporate data was stored on-premise, which means that the organizations could use the perimeter to manage access to the corporate data. Typically, this was a challenging process. That often required email gateways, servers in the perimeter network, lots of configuration, and custom scripting. However, a lot of corporate data today is stored in the cloud either because of the organization's decision or because employees themselves intensely or unintentionally store data in the cloud using apps like Dropbox or Salesforce. This creates a security risk where corporate data might end up in the wrong hands and most of the vendors in the market today don't really have a good solution to protect this data. Microsoft takes a different approach, believing that access control and data protection should be integrated natively in apps, devices, and in the cloud. With Microsoft's Enterprise Mobility Suite, organizations can manage the access to corporate data on-premise and in the cloud with conditional access capabilities, and also protect the data once it is on the device with four layers of protection. And these layers of protection are identity, device permissions, application, security, and data encryption. Oops, I'm sorry guys, hold on. I stopped my presentation here accidentally. Everybody see it again? Yes, I see it. Yes, we can. Intune also provides the ability for admins to allow or deny a specific list of apps on the user devices. Admins create Intune policies which enforce what apps are allowed on certain modern devices. These policies can automatically push applications to most devices and install them. This restrictive list of apps can be aimed at users or groups within the organization. For Windows devices, these policies are pushed to the device and will always be compliant since Intune has more control over Windows devices and can allow only sanctioned applications to be installed from the Windows App Store. For iOS and Android, end users can still install third-party apps from the device App Store. Compliance and auditing is required to ensure end users are not downloading unapproved apps from these stores. Let's take a few moments to recap some features within the Intune mobile app device management. With Intune, 
IT administrators can apply and enforce device configuration settings across iOS, Android, and Windows via mobile device management. Additionally, you can also collect hardware and software inventory data for reporting for compliance. Let's take a brief look at Intune Mobile Application Management. Mobile application management on mobile devices is supported without device enrollment in Intune. Azure AD authenticates the user when an app is logged into Office 365. At that time, Intune policies are pushed to the application to protect sensitive corporate data. Azure Rights Management policies are pushed to the applications to enforce policies such as sending the documents outside the organization, document expiration dates, document printing, document encryption, save, copy, paste restrictions, as well as wiping of application data. This is a good solution for bring your own devices when mobile device management is not required. Steps detailing mobile application management process are, the user installs an app from Apple's Play Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, the user logs in to the app with the Office 365 credentials. Azure AD verifies that the app and the user are allowed to access Office 365. Intune applies mobile application management policy, policies to these apps. Access to Office 365 is then granted, and then the user can continue to use the app as usual and save the data that they need. Intune includes multiple features that that help protect corporate apps and data on user devices. To enforce corporate data access requirements, you can require PIN to launch the app. You can require authentication using corporate data or corporate credentials before launching the app. You can require compliance on the device policies before launching the app. To restrict data leakage, we can allow or block, copy, paste, screen capture, print, you can prevent file backup to unauthorized locations, and you can also restrict sharing of data between applications on the device. You can force device encryption on, of the data at rest on the devices. And ultimately, you can selectively wipe app data from the devices. If we take a look at our user's newly enrolled device, which is now compliant, ready to go, we can see that she has she is still able to maintain personal experience on her device. She has organized her applications the way she wants with all of her apps available on one screen. She has her managed corporate apps, the office mobile apps, and personal apps that she uses outside of work. Even though our user has all of her apps at hand on her personal device, IT is still able to manage Office mobile apps with Microsoft Intune. With the new ident multi-identity management feature, you can enable users to access both their personal and work accounts using the same Office mobile apps while only applying the mobile application management policies to their work account. This provides a seamless experience to the end user while the employees are on the go. There's also an Intune app wrapping tool. This allows IT to, to apply similar policies to your existing line of business applications so that these resources are equally protected through your, uh, to, through your uh, organization's proprietary apps. Let's now take a closer look at how app level policies can help keep corporate data and information secure. Our user receives a work email through her Manage Outlook account with, containing an, uh, an ex, uh, attached Excel spreadsheet, which contains information she needs for a report. Our user opens the attachment in Excel mobile application to find the information she needs. Then she decides she wants to copy the information into a report. When she tries to paste it into her personal notepad, it doesn't work. The personal notepad is not a managed app, and our IT pro has applied policies through Intune that restrict copy, paste, and cut functionalities to only apps that are part of the managed app ecosystem for Intune enrolled devices. So our user then opens her Microsoft Word mobile app. 
which is managed by Intune, and she is then able to successfully copy and paste her information into that app. Now our user wants to save a working copy of her report to her personal OneDrive account so she can, she can access it from her home computer and work on it later. Because her personal OneDrive account is not part of the managed applications, she is unable to save it here. IT has applied policies restricting the avail availability to save to only apps that are part of the managed ecosystem. So our user must save the working copy to her managed OneDrive for business account, which means that when she go, wants to work on this report from another device, this device will also have to be enrolled for, for management through Intune. By using the mobile application management capabilities of Intune, the IT Pro can help manage data linkage of important company data and make sure that this information doesn't get into the wrong hands. There are four paths to manage applications. We can use the mobile app, the Office mobile apps, and these mobile Office mobile apps are natively managed through Intune. Then there's Intune viewer apps, such as the Manage Browser, the PDF user, Viewer, the AV Player, and the Image Viewer, and these are only for viewing apps, and there's policies that are forced this, this viewing by Intune. There's the Intune app wrapping tool, and this app wrapping tool lets you take a currently developed line of business application and wrap it with, ma with mobile application management policies, but not all the mobile application management policies work with the app wrapping tool. For complete security, you would want to take your existing line of business application that's developed, being developed in-house and use the Intune App SDK. Developers then can integrate the app SD, Intune App SDK into the application, providing more control over your user experience. Hey, Michael, real quick. Yep. This is Chris. So real quick, I just want to give an example of, of using why you use the Intune Viewer apps. So for in that previous example where Michael um, had a, a document that was a managed application and he tried to open it in, in a personal application, right? So Safari is a personal application, not managed. So if they wanted to open a link in an email or a Word document, you have to provide that user a managed browser to view that in because if it attempted to open it in Safari, it wouldn't work. So what, what that, those managed Intune view apps is allow you to still control uh, opening links um, and, and um, images and within a controlled managed application. So that's what those are for. That's a good point, Chris. For organizations that would like to make their internal line of business apps manageable, Intune wrap, app wrapping tool can be used. The tool enables the IT Pro to add mobile application management functioning to functionality to in, company internal apps and deploy them with the Intune mobile application management policies and enforce mobile application management policies for the managed apps on the user's devices. Another way, as I have alluded on the previous slide, is for um, Intune mobile app uh, management function to be inherited in these apps through the Intune SDK. This enables your developers to recompile their applications using the Intune SDK to expand upon the mobile application management functionality within the apps. In addition, apps that were recompiled with the SDK can be added to the public app stores for iOS and Android. This means that the Intune can directly install apps from the store and manage them with the mobile application management policies. One particular new feature that is worth mentioning is the ability to install public apps on, on devices directly from the App Store. Previously, you could only make public apps available in the company portal, which would require the user to manually install the app. This new feature saves time for the user and makes the experience more pleasant. In addition, if the app is compiled with the Intune SDK, then Intune can immediately apply mobile application management policies to the app and selectively wipe data if needed when the, when the device is retired.
Currently, Microsoft has par partnered with several companies who have integrated the Intune SDK into their apps to secure your corporate data. And there's a list of, of companies like Adobe, Box, Okta, Salesforce, SAP, Foxit. The list is growing daily. Now let's talk about the option that Intune provides for company data removal that we talked about in some previous slides. Even though Selective Wipe is great for BYOD scenarios because it does not remove personal uh, data and apps, there are cases when the devices need to be fully wiped, such as when the device is lost or stolen, or when the company-owned device needs to be reset. You can do a full wipe. The full wipe essentially restores the device to factory defaults. All data on the device is removed. The device is completely reset to factory defaults. And this is, again, is typically done when you want to, want to uh, have a device in the field and you want to reset it, and if, if it's lost or stolen. And again, this can be done through the, the Intune portal in Azure. Then you have a selective wipe. The selective wipe will remove only company assets to, from the device. It's uh, company resources such as apps, data within the apps, profiles pertaining to your email settings, certificates, and other settings. Um, mobile application management supports the ability to remove only the corporate data and not the personal data. And this may be used for those, uh, those personally owned devices or the CYOD devices. Now you've seen the capabilities uh, that are de delivered by EMS and Intune to, to enable users to be productive from virtually anywhere on almost any device uh, while helping protect your company data. Do we have any questions? Yes, Carson, uh, Olya, do you, you guys have any questions or anyone on the phone have any specific questions about anything? I have none at this point in time. Um, I can go ahead and wrap the recording, and then as I mentioned, if anybody wants to get a copy of that, we'll be sending it out after the fact. And if anyone comes up with any questions after this, um, please feel free to, I guess you reach out to Carson or we can definitely get in touch. Yep, we can absolutely do that.